Dean was I buy cool stuff. We are at the Clare County uh, Amish Flea Market, the Yoder Amish Flea Market, Clare County, Michigan. Gonna hit the flea market. They have a cult auction too. I'm not too interested in that. But we're gonna check out the flea market, see if we find anything. All right, let's get into shopping. I like the big jars for marbles. That. You just want to make a yep. Sure. Let's just do that. No. Oh, it's you. Usually here's our here's our blacksmith yeah. friend. I really didn't find a place. Hi, yet. Dean. Good morning. <laughs> See, even when you're out in Clear County, if you get to know people, you meet people. What are you doing here? I'm looking for goodies just like you. I'm going to build me a forge. I got me a brake drum the other day. Why did you buy that other one? Because I think it makes too big a, too big a, a, a heat, a hot, a pot. Oh, yeah. You know, I sold one one time, and I'm sorry I sold it. Mm. And I knew the guy, the guy couldn't find it. <laughs> he lost it. He lost what? He lost it. It was a pot. It was a big oh. pot. Well, yeah. I don't want a big pot. Well, well at sometimes you need a big pot. When you're getting started, you just need a small pot. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't need to just burn stuff up. Anything good here? I ain't seen nothing yet. I did buy a set of tongs the other day. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, $12 well spent, I hope. Well, I missed one at an auction sale. I, and, I, and I thought I had to bid. I didn't. The guy was right in, in line with me. And how much were they? Two sets of tongs. One was broken, and seven can't hook hooks. Oh wow! Twenty bucks. I've got a can't hook hook uh, that I picked up because you showed me what you did with the baseball bats. So. <laughs> what do you got? Free ink pens? I do. Drug. I've got this for free ink they're all reversible. Yep. That's about the only one I don't have a print on the back. The other ones are all. Oh, I see. They're all double signed. They all got different prints. Nah. Eh, not too much as far as collectibles in this row. Uh, lots of nice handmade goods. And here comes some stuff. So it was nice seeing uh, my blacksmithing friend. So, anyhow, let's see what he's got here. Uh, there is a pad in the truck. You just didn't look for it or didn't find it. Doggone, axe handles and stuff are so expensive. Whoa. That son of a gun there's four foot long. Signs. Oh, 
The king. Huh, the repop signs, they're pretty. They make a place look good. But if you're looking for authenticity per se. And repops are not what you're looking for. And they put chairs out for people to sit in, rest areas. Yep. So. Something smells good. So he's got good deals on shovel handles, axe handles, any kind of handle. They come out of Alabama, I think. His name is Bud. I guess nobody does them shovel. I guess not. Where's the good deal on axe handles? This aisle next over, all the way to the end on the right. He's got like three or four tents right down in a row. Big operation. Good. You can go right down this one and just go around the corner if you want. There you go. Knives and whatnot. Just, Just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. There's a giant skillet. See a guy walking out with a giant skillet. How much are your lanterns? Each or for the pair? The one needs a globe, that's for sure. See if the wife has found anything over here. Everybody said, all the comments I've gotten said I was not spending enough time looking at particular items. So, morning. Good morning. Hey, you buy cool stuff, you better start buying. I ain't had a chance yet. I ain't found nothing cool. That ain't cool. That's just new tools. <laughs> new tools. Can't buy cool stuff when they're trying to sell you new tools. Mm, all glassware, all girly stuff. Not interested in girly stuff. But it's uh, 7.40 in the morning, 7.50. This is an early market. Anything Amish is usually early. Either she don't have her jelly out yet, or she has sold a lot of jelly already this morning. A what? No, not now. Definitely not now. Too early in the morning. I would like to find a lantern that size cheap. I have a nice red globe for one. Repop minnow traps. Don't like repops unless you're selling them as such. Things. Obviously, that's what they are. Repop junk. Yuck.
Somebody bought some stuff they wanted, a buggy and a, I believe that's a, uh, for working leather and stuff. Fresh vegetables. They are in season, so it looks like very set. Eleven dollars for two pounds of honey. Fifteen dollars a quart. Half a gallon is six pounds. Yep. We're Joe and Carol. Hi. Hi. We go to church. Oh, good. Yeah. So, homemade soap. Good morning. Not in the homemade soap. Stinks good though. Stink pretty. Some people are not up yet. Others are. I like that canteen I seen on that first row. I'm not sure what it was. There's one bag full of. 22s. Sharing the breakfast with the dog? He don't get cinnamon rolls? Oh, she don't get cinnamon rolls? <clears throat> Not familiar with that. Got a big globe. It's kerosene. This is a Coleman. I think we're going to get this two thirty seven. Never seen that big globe. What's the best you'll do on the lantern? Well, you better change it because you got 35 priced on it. Take 30 on the lantern? You're not listening, Maria. Nope. I'm giving it away as it is. All right. I don't know lanterns that well. I got a buddy collects them. I'm sure you know enough. I just ain't seen that shaped globe. That's the only reason I'm interested in it because I've bought them a hundred lanterns and I ain't never seen one. I'll give you. The, I, by now, by now you can know your I'll give you the thirty-five. Anyhow, look at the twin tails. Kind of like that. That's kind of cool.
Here's a regular red one. What was that? That sign changes. It's a rolling rock. And it changes as you. Rude for mountain spring. Old 3D. Pretty old too, I think. I can't quite. Yeah, probably 60s. Tupperware. I never think much about collectible Tupperware, but these people sell a lot of vintage Tupperware. It's not terribly expensive, but that's all they deal in. Lots of stuff. Teal and black. Oh, Laser cut stuff. Not much into that stuff. Quilts and whatnot. Hand towels. train stuff. I take a look at the train stuff. And I had, I had, uh, uh, I was trying, I said, I tried to sell $5,000 in the trains for a thousand bucks. I couldn't get anybody to come and get them. I was in the Menards one day and a guy was looking at dinner sale trains after Christmas. He told us. He found out how much the price was. Yeah. yeah, well, I told him, I said, I'm not sure what that is. This Pennsylvania Railroad on it. What what exactly is this, sir? That is a cup. Why does it say 35 cents on it? That's 35 cents because that's what they paid for. It's a railroad deal. You pull it up out of there. And then you have a cup. I see. And the railroad paid 35 cents for it. No, the railroad sold them. Oh, the railroad sold them yeah. for 35 It's uh, just odd that they... It's, it's silver. Stand I don't think it's silver. Not the color don't look right for silver, but I don't know. I think it is, but I don't think the magnet touches it. Yeah, it's probably brass, nickel plated brass. Would be my guess. It might be. Kind of cool. Huh? It's got writing around there too, but my eyes don't do it. Yeah, anymore. I was trying to see it in the phone. Hmm. 
that's different. I will give you all the credit on that. Thank you. That's old. 1800. What is it for? Cutting something. Horse hooks. Horse hooks. Gotcha. Yeah. You know, they have to have their toenails picked too. 1894, it looks like the patent yeah. date. Yep. Cool, cool. A collapsible cup from Pennsylvania Railroad is kind of interesting. I think I'll have to look it up. And it rises up. Comic books. It's really can't do comic books. Beer can. Spices and whatnot. <laughs> Need a bigger van. Rag rugs. I think. Lots of crafts this year, not so much on the junk. Lots of good looking food though. I'm gonna stop here in a little while and get something to eat. Some nice spice cans. I think that black horse is pretty. Don't know what it is. Just, just a casting or something, probably. <laughs> Little stone machines. I know I've had that for a while. It used to be a pretty wild item. Yeah, not anymore, apparently. I got the carrot cake. Oh, it's just up on that table now. Okay. That's a nice little pot. I thought it was Propane or natural gas? Usually propane, yeah. Sausage stuffer. Laundry washer. Hello. Hello, how are you today? Good. How are you? 
I'm here. You're here doing business. Yep, I woke up, could see daylight, I had a good day going. The reason I say daylight, it was pitch dark out, but my mercury light shines in my bedroom, so I seen the light. Any particular thing you're looking for? Or? Scra scrap silver. A what? Scrap silver. Oh, scrap silver? I got a whole jug of it for 400 bucks. Um, what's the face value on it? I don't know, but there's there's a lot of collectibles in it, too. It could be something like that. What's up with the Morgan that's in here? Uh, all, all of them are like either brass. Oh, counterfeits. Or, yeah, they're just, you know. Not good. Just Not you know, good. Somebody offer me five bucks for them, I'd probably let them go. That's in a child-proof package, just a second. It's adult-proof, too. That's what I mean, senior citizen-proof. Getting there. Oh, those are war nickels. Yeah, those are war nickels. Like I say, it's a whole mixed bag of stuff in there. The reason those war nickels are in there, I because they, they're cleaned. It looks like polished. Well, they've, they've been polished, and those were actually in a big case that I bought from a guy. And every coin in it was polished, so it wasn't anything I wanted for collectibles. For All right. My, for my stuff. Right. How much are your silver dollars? Uh, they're all on the back. Oh, they're all on the back? Well, if you stack silver, that might have been okay. I don't know how much dollar there was face value, but it's 0 0.71 ounces to the face value dollar. But there were some 35% uh, silver nickels in there. Which weigh about the same as a dime, if I'm remembering. Silver dime has about the same amount of silver as a silver nickel. A couple silver dollars, and those weigh a little bit more, but they were worn and polished. So, anyhow, I like this little farm. It's cute. So he went back and bought the railroad cup. Not too cool. Like the label on that. Chief Pontiac. Lots of yarn stuff. You got any of that loop yarn with all the loops in it? You know what I'm talking no, about? I do not. My daughter likes using that stuff. <laughs> Morning. Maple syrup. Maple syrup. Would you like a bag? Here's got a lot of stuff. We were mean, man. We were mean when we grew up. What things are?
Don't see anything I got to have. Or even got to look at, seriously. I think there's three flavors of these. Do whatever you want. What are they? Oh, I bought some last year. Just this TV on the wall. You chase that sweet thing. You know, I got the bone one, don't you? How was Buckley for you? Eh. You didn't set up? I wasn't set up. I got a bunch of guns in the car, though. We heard that story before. Somebody's over there, so they said they were selling them out of the back of the trunk. We just, we just do the wall in your shed. Yeah. Here's one I picked up. It was one of me. Huh? Match my other one. Oh, there you go. You got that here? Little 30, 40 crash. Yeah, just nothing hey, hey, special. Stevie, go back and sit down. I'm talking to a customer. Yeah, well, I, I know. Look. Hey, Stevie. Don't close the deal, man. Relax. You handle the people out there, I'll handle them in here. Let's double team them, man. Hey, look here. Don't forget to wipe that brown off your nose a little bit, though. Good kid. Let me just some junk I'm going to take home. There was two of these. I figured I'd sell one. i got a large collection of buoys, man. i got probably one of everything ever designed. I like that buoy. I wouldn't even know what to put on it. Cool. About 100 bucks or so. Can't read what it says. I can't either. Probably your glasses. It's like it's like a, what they call an old Spanish buoy, Texas buoy. I'll yeah. take it home. Well, it's marked CS, so uh, that means it's probably not real. <laughs> Carl, Carl Smith. Yeah, Confederate States of America. What's it say on your Orlin? Mm -hmm. Well, I did some research. If this was a high a high Spanish buoy, it'd all be. Old, they built yeah. I think Zorro carried one like that. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. You're not going to set up somewhere? No, just wandering around today. That was the first time I'd been back to Old Bucks in years. I was up on the corner up here by the. You talked to me, I was up in the corner. Yeah. Did you do good? That's all that matters. How some people set up with such little stuff and expect to do very much good at all. Others set up with lots of stuff. It's just low-end stuff. I don't know. I know what I do. I understand what I do. I buy things that are fucked. Well, here's somebody who's got some Tupperware again, which I'd never expect to be super collectible. But they've also got a lot of Pyrex type cookware. Some tractors. Not my kind of stuff. Here's some fishing poles. Let's see if he's got anything I need. Good morning. Everyone I can, the easy ones twice. No, I'm all really new. Kind of cheesy looking stuff. They just make so much new fishing tackle. And it's all pretty good. Here with the hit and miss engine running, going to be starting to make some ice cream.
Christmas stuff. They'll sell that and that because they've got them working. People love to see stuff working. When it's working, it sells. Doesn't matter what it is. We're like moths. If it's working and moving, we're attracted to it. Lots of Chinese tools. All right, so the wife called. When you come out, just come right straight down. Right. Horseshoe art. That's kind of cool. She's never been here. Lots of maple syrup here today. You know, if anybody did roasters, that is a beautiful blue. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous enamel wear. But nobody cooks in roasters, and I have one, so I don't need another roaster. Stration Outdoor Products. Hmm. Stration Outdoor Products. How much is a duck call? I do uh, six bucks. It is a duck call, right? like a duck if I ever heard one. A little different construction. Yeah. Any questions, let me know. Okay. Two bucks a piece on the hot wheels. Stratum. Outdoor product. Stratum. Stratum. Stratum Outdoor Products. Can't. It's built a little bit different. I don't. Let's see if you take five. Five dollar bill on the call. So we got the call for five bucks. Kind of cool. We'll see. Uh, see what we can find in this row. Lots of stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to video this whole market. It is big. It is 40 or 50 acres or something ridiculous. I don't know. It's big. It's worth coming to. I think they have it twice a year, once in the spring, once in the fall. If you hear that pounding in the background, that is the Amish running a hit and miss engine making ice cream.
samples, guys. Come on in. Trying to keep the sun out a little bit this yeah. morning. I think that's some almonds. Yeah, they smell yum. So they're getting the ice cream going. Hit and miss engine. Salt in the ice right now. Gonna make ice cream. Right out here for everybody. Lots of Amish walking around shopping. It is their event. Dog bones. Morning. Morning. We used to always have plenty of dog bones when we was kids because we, our mom made roasts and had the bone out of the roast all the time to put out for the dog. No good flea market. Doesn't have a uh, rock place. This is called Fordite. This is paint. This is paint that builds up in the paint booths at the uh, auto plants. And then you cut it and it's like, uh, it's like agate. This is Fordite that's been cut and polished. The rocks. Yeah. See if who's marked Avon. I think I'll bypass that one. Would mind, not mind ditching my jacket, it has warmed up considerably. No, don't need no Avon. I've got it. Yeah, it wouldn't be that pretty with the bird shit all over it, though. <laughs> what are you laughing at me for? <laughs> Am I right? That's why you paint them white so the, so the bird shit don't show up. No, not much here so far. A little of this, a little of that. Not to make it interesting, but all cool stuff in there. Well, I figured it had to be cool. It was in a box. Time, I'm just thinking about taking this jacket off. Getting warm when you're out walking in the sunshine. It was 44 degrees. August 31st, I believe it is. 
this morning when we woke up in Gladwin, Michigan. Beagle pups. Well, wife wants to look at beagle puppies. They are beagles, right? Yeah. They look like beagles. Got four feet and a tail. Oh wow! I get all of you guys over here. Oh, the beagles love attention. Oh yeah. So does bassets. Are they field stock or are they just house pets? Um. <laughs> no, mom and dad are home. Do you hunt them? No. Okay. Then they're not field stock. They're just house well, pets. Their sister last year got bought and got put on a rabbit right away, and she took off. Oh yeah. <laughs> Most any beagle will track a rabbit to some extent, so, but. <laughs> that ain't that big a deal. But can they do it well? That's the whole question. You have to track a rabbit and you have to do it well. Somebody bought a glass cutter and making wind chimes out of wine bottles. I guess if you drink enough wine, it'd be profitable. I gotta get away. It looks like some better stuff over there. Let's see what's in this booth over here. I see some better looking antiques over there. I see some guns. I see what looks like a German Mauser up there on the top. Definitely looks like a German Mauser. It is a German Mauser, but it's been terribly sporterized. Dies. Big bullet molds like this sell good. Two, four, six cavity with the handles. Now I gotta do a $150 permit. Right? No, but I mean, just like overall. Right? Mm. Yeah, but it's not, they're not. Uh, not frowned upon so much anymore. Well, they're all coming Enfield has been terribly abused as well. Yeah, they are, but still. More coins. You should stand here and pick out some dimes. Some dimes? Mm -hmm. That's too much. You'd be better off buying the other ones. I guess there's some barbers in there, but... Well, it was kind of cool stuff. It's just too expensive. All right, got to decide. I think we're going to ditch these jackets. All right, back at it.
Or Atlas. Oh, oh. Sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got piggies up here. Pot belly piggies would be my guess. Little yeah. piggies. So, when you come to cool places and where there's cool stuff, you get to see cool stuff. Bacon. Pretty pigs. They don't say that size. No, they don't say that size. You got that part right. Even the pot belly pigs get too big to handle, in my opinion. I think a pig will grow until it dies. I think they're one of the animals, one of the few mammals that'll do that. Oh, I'm glad I got rid of that jacket. I like the wavy flags. You make them? Yes, I do. Very creative. Thanks. Very creative. He's taking the wood. Here you can see the profile. And he's carved it they, so they look like they're waving in the wind. I mean, you see a lot of craft stuff, but well, that's well done and well thought out. A lot of people, they've been using CNC. I don't like using that. Yeah, no, it, it's too irregular to be machined. That's why I figured you'd done it by hand. Yeah. Use, use a CNC, it takes the fun out. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Right here. Got some toys. I'm not big into toys, but the old farm toys. Like these loaders. Can you imagine a kid and having something like that just <sighs> cranking it, loading stuff up? What a great, great, great bunch of fun. Interesting things there. Few, nothing, nothing too interesting. It didn't rain, but the dew sure got everything. Any high-end fishing lures? No, no, just what I can turn over. Yeah, I'm looking for higher-end stuff. 150, 250, 350, that kind of stuff. Stuff I need for my collection. Yep. These lamps with the round wicks. 
Yeah, right. Yeah. They give off so much more light. They are so more engineered than the other ones. So the wicked would be down here. This is a flame spreader. Yep, that that makes sense. Them are so much so much improved over the single common ones. And then somebody's in their house. She said, you know, 20 years later, I had like 50 owls. Everybody said, oh, you collect owls. No, I bought one. <laughs> it's a good thing they don't do that with wives. Yeah. I only bought one. I only paid for one. And not, now I'm up to 40. <laughs> and can't figure out how to get rid of them. They frown. They frown on it when you start throwing them away. <laughs> what? You didn't. You didn't keep your receipt. For <laughs> That's right. You didn't keep your receipt, so you could give them back. Uh, that's a, uh, Two dollars for the pin and the earring. May I? Yep. Nine by sixty three, it says. Interesting. One guy looked at it and my son never shot it. I don't even think he has ammo for it. I've got some odd ammo. I've collected a lot of ammo and I might have a small box of nine six by sixty three. Uh, I think it's like a 10 shot box or something. I, they, I think they use that in uh, drillings a lot. Three barrel drillings, I think. I think I've seen it in that before. Thank you. The licorice guy. Taste the difference. Making uh, kettle corn. Gotta love kettle corn. <laughs> Sorry if I recorded a lot with that cover up there showing. Didn't realize that it was showing. Knives and swords. Is it going to be good stuff or is it going to be junk? I think it's going to be junk. We'll find out. More Tupperware. Like I said, you wouldn't think of Tupperware as a big collectible, but it sells here. It's the only place I've ever seen people selling Tupperware to any extent. Lots of kitchenware here. At the place overall, there's a lot of kitchenware. Antique, collectible, others. Next, yeah, next time. I like that. Next. Yep, Chinese knives. How's it going today? Pretty good. How are you? Ain't been caught yet. 
That's a good thing, right? It's always good when you're not caught. Place might have some stuff. I've never seen one like that before. Yeah, that's weird look right How much is the Coleman stove? Is there a price on it? Uh, maybe there is. 45 Nice little Coleman stove. Got the box, too. Some stuff's priced, some stuff is. Yeah, I looked at the Red Lantern. It is not priced. Huh? Oh, across the aisle? No, oh, the guy right here. Grant, sir. That guy right here. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Did you have a price on the red lantern? Yep. Right. It's not perfect. No, it's needs, not. Needs a little spot weld. Those two spots. 35 the way it sits. Yeah, I got you. Probably need to get out and go garage sailing, get out of here, find some better deals. There's stuff here, but garage sailing is way more productive. Buying from people that don't know, don't care, should I say. You ready to get out of here? I want something to eat or drink or something. All right, I'm not going to disagree with you on that. What's the river? Hey, honey, how we doing? What's the river? Good. Come get your hot dog. Whatever way you like. Great. Let me know. Thank you. I have to tell you, I got cut from guys. There's a couple blow molds. Everybody's looking for blow molds. Don't know why. I don't play fishes with it, but this thing is amazing. Oh well, it's been a long day here. I think we're going to hit the road and start hitting some garage sales. So, like I always say, like, subscribe, comment, and God bless you and God bless America.